Today's modernised public relations tip is about a very old-fashioned public relations technique, off the record. The reason I want to talk to you today about off the record is in the last few days there's been a couple of really high-profile examples of famous people giving off the record comments to journalists which they've then been furious or surprised that the journalist has reported. The first was last week when Donald Trump tweeted in fury about how Bloomberg had violated his privacy by reporting an off the record comment he gave to a Bloomberg reporter about the Canada de um, trade deal. The second was this week when Elon Musk, the founder of Tesla, made sent an off the record email to BuzzFeed accusing, get this, accusing one of the British cave divers who rescued the children in Thailand of being a child rapist and he was then furious when BuzzFeed reported it. My question is, what on earth were these two people doing making off the record comments to journalists? Any public relations professional will tell you if you don't want something to be reported by a journalist, don't say it to them. Now, off the record, what does it mean to you? I'm pausing here because as people think about the answer, I can absolutely guarantee that different people watching this video will think different things about what, the what off the record means. Some people will think it means it's, an un it's a non-attributable comment, something that you, can't, you, you can report what was said, but you can't report who said it. Others will think it's background information. It's something you're just telling the journalist about and they won't actually publish. There isn't an agreed definition, which is why you shouldn't be making off the record comments. Now, is there any occasion when you might want to make the record off the record comment? Sometimes, and I'm going to come on to that. But why shouldn't you make them? Well, first up, the journalist doesn't work for you. They work for their employer, their publisher. And maybe they've also got the public interest in mind. We're going to have a discussion about public interest on another day. But that's one reason why you shouldn't be making an off-the-record comment, because they're not do going to do what you tell them to do. The second is how well can you trust them? You know, some journalists are bound by very strict ethical codes, and some media are bound by very strict ethical codes. But not all journalists are, and not all publications are. And different publications and different journalists have got different versions of what they consider to be ethics, and protecting sources, and understanding what terms like off-the-record mean. Now, are there any occasions when you could use off the record? Very, very occasionally you can, but I would only recommend you do it on if there's a very specific reason why you need to. Precisely, what are you trying to get out of making that off the record comment? Is there any other better way that you could do it? That's what you should investigate first. And if you really do have to do it, if it really is the right thing to do, then you should be doing it to a journalist that you know well a journalist that you've already got a relationship with and that you can trust. And even then, there's something that you need to do before you make that off-record comment, and that's get them to agree that you both mean exactly the same thing when you say off the record. Make it crystal clear what it actually means, and then, and only then, should you consider making an off-the-record comment. Hopefully that's helped some of you with how you can manage media interviews in the future. 